Welcome to Electrical Engineering with Excel. In this video, we will review the E-Series preferred numbers for standard component values. We will also develop a user-defined function to return the closest standard 1% component value to the value of its input. In a later video, we will develop a function to return the closest component value for any of the E-Series preferred values. Back in the golden age of radio, electronic components were not standardized. Although it's theoretically possible to produce components of any value, in practice, the need for inventory simplification led the industry to settle on a standard. The Radio Manufacturers Association, in 1936, adopted a preferred number system for fixed composition resistors. World War II was a time of mass development of electronics, which influenced standards as well. With much of the transistor radio production happening in Japan, this spawned the standards to be spread internationally in 1948. The International Electrotechnical Commission released the first component standard in 1952. The last update was in 2015. Standard component values exist for resistors, capacitors, inductors, and Zener diodes. If we are using Excel to calculate component values, we might as well have it calculate the nearest standard value. In my opinion, life is too short to look up the component values in a table. In later videos, we will develop VBA to convert numbers to text with their associated metric prefixes and units. The standard is called the E-series of preferred numbers. The number designates how many numbers are in the series. The E3 series is pretty much obsolete. The E6 series has six numbers and represents a 20% tolerance spread. The E12 series is for 10% tolerance spread. E24 is 5%. E48 is 2%. E96 is 1%. And E192 is one half a percent or lower. The E3 through E24 series values are rounded to one trailing digit, and E48 through E192 are rounded to two trailing digits. It's intuitive to see that the numbers need to be logarithmically spaced. Here is a chart of the E12 values and the spread of plus or minus 10% for each value. The bigger the number, the wider the plus or minus 10% spread is. In the E12 series, the tolerances overlap slightly. 6.8 plus 10% is 7.48. 10 minus 10% is 9. The 10% tolerance of 8.2 ranges from 7.38 to 9.02, so you can see the overlap. We will concentrate on developing an Excel user-defined function for the E96 series specifically, because it's mathematically pure. The E24 series has a few exceptions that adapt its values to the older series values. Next video, we will make a user-defined function that will encompass the entire series, but for now, we will use the E96 series to focus on the math. Each value in the series is a rounded version of the nth root of 10, where Vn is the rounded values, m is the E-series group size, and n is the specific integer value of the series. For the E96 series, the common ratio of geometric progression is the 96th root of 10, or 1.024. The series value is that common ratio raised to the nth power rounded to two trailing digits. For example, to compute the 13th value in the series, raise the common ratio to the power of 13 and round to two trailing digits, which comes out to 1.37. Here it is in the chart as the 13th progression. Our objective is to find the nearest component value to our desired value, so we need to go backwards and solve for n. We take the log base 10 of each side of the equation 
and apply the logarithmic power rule, which moves n to the front of the equation. Then solving for n is simply the log of vn over the log of the common ratio r. Let's determine the closest series value to 1.522, which comes out to 17.5118. We need the integer n, and 17.5118 is closer to 18, so a simple round function does the trick. Here in the chart, the 18th value is 1.54, but there is another layer of complexity here. The series chart only covers one decade, our desired value is not often going to be between 1 and 10, like the chart. Our input could be any number, small or large. To work with the preferred series of numbers, we need to get the base number, which is an integer with a decimal place and trailing numbers. Consider a value of 125,687 ohms. We need to resolve the base number which would be 1.25687. This can be easily done using the mantissa of the logarithm, which is the fractional part. To understand this better, break up the number into a power of 10. In this case, 10 to the fifth times 1.25687. Bring the five out front and the log of 1.25687 is 0.09929. Let's compute the base number by first taking the log of 125,687 and assign it to the variable L. We will make D the integer of L, which is 5. The mantissa M is L minus D, 0 0.09929. Then Rx equals 10 to the M power, which is our desired 1.25687. Once we calculate the closest value in the series, we will use the saved variable d to scale the number back up or down to the original input. Okay, let's code this thing up. I'll name the function stdres1 with the input argument r. Make k the common ratio for the E96 series. Now we need to get the log base 10 of the input variable r. But the VBA log function is base E, the base for natural logarithms. We can use the logarithm base change rule. We simply divide by the log of 10. The number of decades D equals the integer value of L. Then we can use the mantissa to make the base number Rx as 10 to the power of the mantissa L minus D. The log of Rx divided by the log of common ratio rounded with no decimal places, is the number of intervals. Note, the log base E works here. The log of any number divided by the log of another number is the same with any base, if the numerator and denominator are the same base. Then Rs is k to the n power, rounded to two trailing digits. We will then scale the number back up or down to the number of decades the input had and set the function name equal to that. Just drop the code in the developer window and use the function like this. An input of 2600 in the cell A1 gives us a standard value of 2610. On the next video, we will add features to this code to make it work for all the E series preferred numbers. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.